Fana Danabash, she's here in the Situation Room. Uh, who are the Democrats and these anti-war groups targeting the most, Anna? They're targeting Republicans, Wolf, all across the country. In fact, let's look at the map to see some of the key Republicans. First, in New Mexico, Senator Pete Domenici is up for re-election. He recently criticized the president's war strategy. Then, in Ohio, you have Senator George Voinovich. He also is bucking the president, but has said that he's not right now ready to vote for a deadline for withdrawal. Then, let's look in New England. Senator Susan Collins moderate Republican there. She has more and more inch towards the Democrats when it comes to Iraq. And then finally, in New Hampshire, you have Senator John Sununo. He is perhaps, Wolf, one of the most vulnerable Republicans that Democrats are targeting, uh, one of the most vulnerable Republicans in the Senate. You were just up there in New Hampshire, spent some time with him. That's right. And essentially what we saw there is that Senator Sununu's numbers, his poll numbers, really are plummeting. And uh, there are a lot of issues, Wolf, that are hurting him there. But you talk to New Hampshire Republicans and they say the issue that's making it hardest for him to hold on to his seat is Iraq. <laughs> He's back home talking about the war, but no controversy here. Senator John Sununu pays tribute to a 24-year-old Iraq vet. I'm pleased to present you with a flag flown over the Capitol and a combat service ribbon. Thank you very Congratulations. much. Congratulations. Sununu plays down the political pressure he faces come September, whether to join the growing number of fellow Republicans urging troop withdrawal. I think the, the pressure has got to be to get the policy right. Tag along, and Granite State voters aren't asking him much about Iraq, but it's on their minds. Independents are the decisive voting bloc here. People like Ken Southard. He voted for Sununu last time. Now He's not sure. I want him to take a position that forms a firm exit strategy from Iraq. What's striking is that independents in New Hampshire have increasingly looked just like Democrats in their stance toward the war. They want Senator Sununu to get the troops out. New Hampshire used to be a reliably Republican state, but not anymore. In fact, anger over Iraq fueled huge Democratic gains here in the last election, and Democrats think continued frustration with the war will help them capture Senator Sununu's seat. There's already a Stop Sununu campaign, roadside protests, ads slamming him for voting against troop withdrawal. Call Sununu. Tell him it's time to do the right thing. It's time to start bringing our troops home. We don't want to see any uh, service member in Iraq a day longer than absolutely necessary. And uh, I, I think we ought to focus on what General Petraeus has to say. It's no accident he talks of listening to the military commanders in Iraq, not the commander-in-chief in Washington. The president's obviously not popular. Uh, he doesn't have high popularity ratings in New Hampshire right now, and, and that's a fact. And in a campaign, you've got to get out there, work yourself, town to town and person to person. Next up, please welcome Senator John Sununu. A little off the mark, but a chance to savor summer before critical Iraq votes and decisions that shape his next season. And Sununu said last month he could do without a campaign visit from President Bush, but Wolf, he told us if the president wants to come to New Hampshire and raise money for him, he said that would be just fine. They'll take the money and run. Absolutely. All right, Dana, thanks very much, uh, Dana Bash, here in the city.